Say cheese. Hi, welcome back to Smart Mom. I'm Angela. Like Today we're talking about the coinulator. Now, uh, behaviors now, do Angela, tend to get out of hand on, um, uh, extremely. Uh, on occasion when we try to introduce change, uh, dollars, anything to do with money. It's a, it's a little frustrating. So I did find a, a little um, gadget called the coinulator. It's like a calculator, but it actually helps them learn how to recognize change in dollars and to also uh, play different games so they can learn how to count change back, to count change in general. Uh, so I just wanted to share this with you and see if it helps you like it's helped me. So why don't we get started and Dustin's going to show us a little example of what to expect when we play the coinulator. Now we uh, came across these puzzle pieces um, a while back and I just thought they were nice little counters. I started out with a little decoration but we use them as counters. So Dustin, you want to show mommy how it's done? Turn on. Okay. Now he has to make two dollars and sixty-nine cents. Where are you going to say? Now he's still working with some of the coins, um, the quarters and the dimes seem to be an issue, but we're working on that. But he is able to tell you what a penny looks like, a nickel, a dime, a quarter, and so forth. But it's a nice encouragement uh, when it speaks. You should be saying something in time. And there's 10 counters here. I don't get him a lot to do. So 10 is usually enough just to get him engaged in the uh, counting and uh, just to, to not overwhelm him. And he likes to put the pieces together on top of it. Way to go. Way to go. You have your free time when we finish, OK? Now this one's $9.42. See, it does get a little hard for them, but once they familiarize themselves with the change and the dollar buttons, it's, it's not so difficult. Way to go. Let's see if we can make an, an error. That way you can see what happens when it doesn't get the right change. Can we use the quarter? Okay, that's fine. Well, isn't that my friends? And you do a little hand biting, so I'm just not going to push them too much. Like I said, this is a this is a hard thing for well, these guys to do. So when I came across the coin you later, it was the perfect way to uh, to help him along it's learning this yes, at uh, home. Um, I did find it at a, a website called Diffalearn. Um but I'm sure if you go to Amazon.com, eBay, or all those other places, yes, so. um, you'll probably come across it there. I paid about $25 for it, and it was well worth it. That's too much. Try again. And he made too much money, so you see what it does there. So he really has to kind of think about what he's doing. I don't know if you can hear it, but it even sounds like change going into a jar. The dollars sound like dollars. So it's kind of realistic sounding for these guys, too. Of course, enjoy. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the queen is on the BSO. this video up. I think you've got the idea of what uh, we're doing here with the formulator. Um, like I said, if you're going to have these guys do it, they do have um, worksheets that go with these, but I don't really think it's a necessary thing. Um, you can even make up your own worksheets rather than spend the extra money to, to do those, uh, well, to buy those worksheets online. Um, Otherwise, I'm sure they can always coordinate with some of the workbooks that you can find in the stores because it's just simply counting change and using the coinulator to help you along with it. So in the meantime, um, I guess this next uh, month we're, we're not having a video. Um, Dustin's going to be turning 15 and uh, school starts up, so it's going to be a crazy month for me, so unfortunately I'm not going to be able to do the video. Um, however, the following month um, I will be... Uh, 
is having a video, which I'm not going to tell you what it's about. So you'll have to come back and visit me. Just pull that little surprise from me. And um, in the meantime, I hope the coin later helped you like it's helped me. Have a good one.